Uh, hello everyone, I'm printing again after changing the y-axis carriage I changed it from the aluminum plate that I'd cast and milled with three linear bearings on it to a printed part of four linear bearings I found out that the casting the, just three linear bearings on it it had a little wobble which threw off the print so putting four linear bearings on the new printed part um, took care of that problem so now I'm printing a uh, X motor end for this printer it's going to use linear bearings and the bearings will be clamped in place with the plastic housing after this one I'll be printing the uh, idler for the X and it'll set up the same way linear bearings with the clamping system these are about the best ones I've ever seen you cannot find these on Thingiverse these are made by a guy named Nathan <clears throat> and as you can see the the clamping is right in here and the uh, lead screw goes through here and then there's an opto cradle right there for the opto end end stops the motor the stepper motor will set up the same way this one is same direction <clears throat> so I think it would be a, a really good upgrade get rid of the PLA bushings <clears throat> my heated bed is still working beautifully So you can see my linear bearings on the uh, y-axis carriage. <clears throat> you can find that on Thingiverse. It's a really good, good build. I did have to cut it down a little bit to fit the Prusa on the link, or the actually from left to right. And a nice thing about it too, it's got a uh, belt tensioner on it. Makes it easy to. Uh, pull tension on the bill I've got this thing calibrated fairly well now <clears throat> and soon I'll be having all the parts on my Prusa the same color This is what the part's going to look like. Here's the, the clamp. Slide the linear bearing inside that. Two of them. I really like the uh, <clears throat> the way this is built because it's very stout. And then there's where the <clears throat> opto end stops going to go. And notice it's got a tunnel to put the wires through, and they'll come out here. So it's it's designed really well. <clears throat> so it takes uh, screws and nuts to clamp this down.
screws and nuts. I think it would be a really good upgrade. <coughs> yeah, I just drank a beer. Very good beer. Here's one of the... Uh, Tests that are performed, and it's it's so close to being right on the money. One thing I think I'm going to do, which I should have done many months ago, was this little T5 sprocket should be down here. And I've got a smaller one. <clears throat> I think that'll solve the rest of the problem. I just printed this off today. Mounted it in there. It's working beautifully. And you'll notice on my waged hinge extruder, the housing is a little different from the regular housing. This is on this side instead of the other side. And it was a, a mistake, but a good mistake because I like it that way. I'll tell you there's so many so many little things that you learn once you start building these wish I'd known all this all this to begin with I could have saved a little money but I would suggest uh, anybody that wants to build one of these don't use bushings or uh, PLA bushings or bronze bushings you get good results with sometimes the bronze bushings but uh, I think the best way to go on these is linear bearings throughout it just solves so many problems and then the other thing people make the mistake of just going out and buying a smooth rod uh, <clears throat> and not knowing what they're getting really but smooth rod has imperfections in it if you don't get cold rolled steel you're gonna have problems especially with bushings so what I built this one with was uh, all stainless steel throughout cold rolled steel stainless steel and stainless steel all thread so I, I didn't have any problems with the uh, the rods giving uh, friction or uh, imperfections and once I went with linear bearings it uh, it worked out great it cost a little more money with stainless steel but you don't have to buy stainless steel you can go with steel but make sure it's cold rolled steel that way it's going to be within one thousandth of an inch of being true throughout the 